What's up guys? Back again with another video on hitting mats. Uh, this time we've got the fiber built player preferred mat. I've got here the single hitting four by eight size in the garage. And uh, if you aren't familiar with fiber built, they are most known for their grass series mat, which I've done another video. You can find it on my channel on their grass series, but the player preferred is something totally different. Looks much more like a traditional mat with turf while the grass series is uh, really designed for injury prevention and it's got uh, bristles instead of turf. So if you wanna see that, check it out on the channel. Um, so let's get started on the player preferred. First off, like I said, Fiber Built is really known for quality. Um, I've got two of their mats right now and both are very high quality. They've got uh, basically this heavy duty rubber uh, tray that holds everything together. And uh, this one is uh, made up of two foot by two foot rubber panels that all connect together to form that tray. Um, <clears throat> the way that those go together are with kind of like a rubber push pin system. So the panels have holes in them um, and you take these, these are plastic, but they're like little um, push pins. There you go. Um, <clears throat> slide uh, one of these push pins underneath through the holes and then you've got this uh, connector piece that uh, is that heavy duty rubber and uh, slide this through the hole, slide this piece on top and those two connect the bases together and hold everything in place. Um, like I said, they're super heavy so I don't think they would move around much anyways but this is what locks them all together. So. Um, <clears throat> now the actual, uh, hitting area itself is two foot by four foot. So that's the center part here. It is all one piece. So I was kind of curious to see, you know, what the layers were in between and everything, but it comes as one piece. So it's got the same rubber on the bottom and then the turf on the top. And I'm sure there's some kind of layer in between, but it is kind of all glued together or something, you can't take it apart. Um, <clears throat> so the turf on top is uh, super short. It's kind of like putting turf, which uh, I've talked about in other videos. Some feature, some mats feature longer turf that can be good and bad. Um, but the good thing with the short turf is, is that your club is really not gonna get caught on any longer turf as you're swinging. Um, some mats that to me can, can cause a little pain in the lead arm. Um, <clears throat> you know, first impression of the hitting area is that it feels super firm. So, uh, you know, some of these mats that have obvious, a layer of foam in there, you can just kind of step on it and feel the whole thing compress that I don't get here. Um, other than the turf on top, I really don't feel anything compressing whenever I step on it or poke it with my hand. So it's definitely on the firmer side. Um, and then the other part of this is you've got four, four holes here for uh, T slots. And the mat came with uh, a rubber base uh, that uh, you can insert a real golf tee in. You just slide this under the uh, mat, poke it out through one of the holes and you can stick a real tee in. Um, I've got one of those in there in the front and just because I had it, I've got a, uh, <clears throat> also a fiber built rubber tee, but it's the kind that you can, uh, push down and extend up, uh, when you want to use it for driver. And, uh, I was just kind of messing around with that, but those fit as well. I bought those separately. I already had them. I think they're like 20 bucks for two. Um, <clears throat> so most important part to me, how does it feel? Um, like I said, this is definitely on the firmer side. Um, but even still, whenever you have a well-struck shot, um, it feels really, really nice. I think having a firmer mat um, maybe allows you to compress the ball a little bit more compared to a mat that has a really spongy layer of foam um, that you hit down into. So uh, I just noticed that, yeah, when you hit it flush, it, it feels really nice. And um, it's also kind of interesting, the sound it makes. 
okay? It, it is a very nice sound, kind of a, everybody knows that sound of a real nice uh, crack of the whip golf shot. And you get that a lot with this, which is interesting. Um, <clears throat> as far as uh, injury prevention, um, you know, it, it is super firm. Uh, according to their website, it uses a proprietary vibration absorption layer. So I don't really know what that is, but uh, according to their website, it stops 94.7% of club head vibration. And I could say that that, that is how it feels. Um, it feels like uh, it is stopping any of the uh, vibration up the shaft and all that, um, but there is no compression whenever you hit down. So uh, I would say that uh, <clears throat> if the Sig Pro Softy, which was my other favorite mat that I tried, feels like soft fairway, then this player preferred feels like very firm fairway. Um, so that's kind of where those things fall. Um, as far as chipping, which is something you're going to do a lot if you use it for simulation, for GS Pro, or uh, whatever your software of choice is, uh, obviously it's a super, uh, super tight lie. Um, so, you know, I don't know if you prefer that or not, but uh, that's one of those things with a firmer mat that, uh, and of course with the short, you know, putting turf height, that uh, it's going to be a super tight lie for, for your chipping. Um, so how does it fit within the golf simulator? Uh, it is, <clears throat> um, one thing I, I, off the bat, I really like the look. Okay. So I like the straight lines and really clean edges. Obviously you can see the rubber tray, uh, poking up around the outside of it. Um, doesn't bother me too much. Like I said, I just like the straight lines. <clears throat> so according to the fiber built website, it says that the height is two inches. Um, which when I measured it, I, I think I got more, it was something like one and three quarters, maybe one and seven eighths, uh, if that difference matters to you. But what uh, did matter to me and I wasn't aware of is that this hitting area portion right here, uh, the height is actually lower than the rest of it. So it's, uh, I think it was about one and three eighths or something like that. So really it's like this rubber tray on the stance area uh, pokes up higher and then it dips down about half an inch lower on the hitting portion. So, you know, that might matter to you and it might not. To me, I liked it and I was kind of happy because I've already got one inch foam flooring in front and whenever I add kind of a three eighths inch thick uh, putting turf, which I have some right here, and line it up, it is about as good as you could uh, hope for as far as a transition. There is a little bit of the rubber tray that the ball will have to uh, roll over, but um, as far as roll of the ball, it's, it's pretty minimal as far as any bumpiness or anything. So I was not aware that it dipped down like that and was glad to, uh, to find that out. Um, and of course, whether that matters to you or not, if you're using something like a Mevo Plus, which is radar based. And if you want to use it for putting, um, the ball needs to be able to roll on one surface all the way to the screen. Um, you can't have any bounciness or whatever, and it's, it's got to get kind of the whole length. So if that's something you're trying to build in your simulator area, um, you know, you're going to want to be aware of kind of those heights of the mat. Um, <clears throat> as far as the, uh, the hitting area itself being two foot by four foot, that's the largest hitting area that I have seen, or the, at least that I've tested and all the mats that I've tested. And, you know, in my head, I didn't think that really mattered, but when I actually got it down and used it with my Foresight GC Quad, which has a really large hitting area, um, it honestly felt pretty luxurious to have all this space to move the ball around. Um, it's actually more space than the GC quad hitting area. So I couldn't use the entire, uh, you know, width of the hitting area on the mat. But if you have something like a GC quad or a Unicor IXO 
or a GC Hawk, um, one of these that has much larger hitting areas, you will uh, probably appreciate being able to use the whole space instead of a smaller kind of 12 by 30 inch strip, which is what you're going to see uh, with a lot of other mats. So kind of, uh, kind of get that feeling of like an extra wide parking space at Costco, if you know what I mean. Um, it's a nice little perk of this mat. Um, as far as pricing, this was the most expensive mat that I tested. This four by eight single hitting version was uh, $1,349. Uh, they also make a uh, four by 10 version that is a center hitting version. So you can have lefties and righties uh, on either side. That one is $1,549. So um, definitely on the higher end of all the mats. <clears throat> so kind of closing thoughts on this, um, fiber built, very high quality. I do like that they use this heavy duty rubber. Um, it's uh, definitely on the firmer side of all the mats that I've tested. Um, although it does have that rubber and whatever their proprietary vibration absorption layer is, I have a little more confidence in the injury prevention for it because it has those things uh, compared to just like the EZT hybrid turf that unless you do something yourself, adding some foam or something underneath, uh, you know, there's really nothing other than the turf itself. So, um, you know, you know, for those of you that are wanting to maybe pick it up and store it when you're not in use, um, to me, that would be a real pain in the butt. Um, you obviously can disassemble it, take all the panels apart, but uh, it is not something that I would wanna do every day. It's not even something I would wanna do every week. Um, doesn't take that long, but you're gonna be on your hands and knees. You're gonna be hammering those uh, little push pins in and pulling them out. And uh, it's a little bit more than I would want for it to be uh, easily disassembled and, and put away when not in use. Uh, of course, like I mentioned, I personally love the look of it, the way it would look in a simulator. I think it's easy to uh, line up the turf and, and just make it look good. Um, so big question, am I keeping it? All right guys, so I filmed this video a few days ago and I've had a few more days to kind of gather my thoughts around how it feels and if I want to keep the player preferred mat for myself or go with the SIG Pro Softy, which was my other favorite mat that I tested. And after a few more days, and I actually took a lesson in that time period as well, what I realized about the player preferred mat is that um, if your swing is in a good place, it feels fantastic. Um, there's really nothing too firm about it at all. If you're kind of out of plane like I was, I was kind of getting over the top um, and probably a little bit uh, too uh, steep on it, uh, felt a little bit too firm. And obviously that was a, a swing flaw. So I think that's the best way to describe it is that uh, it's definitely for better players um, and it because it is unforgiving, um, much more unforgiving than, than most of the other mats that have uh, a layer of really soft foam. And uh, I don't know, that's kind of where it's at. So after kind of uh, getting a little tune up on my swing and, and really getting that good feeling on this mat, I'm pretty sure that I'm, I'm keeping this one for myself because it checks so many other boxes for me in my space as far as what I want in size, mat height and all of that. So um, looks like I'm going with this one. I, I, I may still pull out the Sig Pro Softy just to make sure. I love the way that one feels um, for sure. They're both very different, but um, it makes sense. I mean, I think the, the player preferred is going to work for better players. Um, and the Sig Pro Softy, I think, will work for just anybody, even if you are a better player. So, um, you know, like I said, the player preferred just check more boxes for me personally. So... Guys, I hope you've enjoyed these videos. I hope you found them helpful. Um, I will have uh, links in the video description to purchase the player preferred. If uh, you do, it'll, uh, I'll earn a commission at no cost to you, and it helps me make more reviews like this that uh, hopefully you find helpful. So we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.